VAR. Whether you like it or you don't like it, you agree with it or you disagree with it, it will be in the Premier League from the 2019-2020 season and onwards. Now we've seen plenty of evidence for it working, but we've also seen times where it doesn't work and there's definitely room for improvements. So in this video, we'll be having a chat as to whether VAR will work in the Premier League. But before we get into the video guys, do go and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. We usually do Southampton content, this is a Southampton fan channel, but we also discuss Premier League stuff with, like this video. So if you're new and you don't support Southampton but you support a Premier League team, do make sure you've clicked subscribe, turn notifications on because we will do more content like this throughout the summer as well as the Southampton stuff. Also go and follow us on our socials because there's other stuff on there that's pretty cool. So make sure you're sort of tuned in in there. Right, let's get into the video. So VAR, Video Assistant Referee. We've seen it all over the news over the last, I guess, two years since it was first introduced. And for me, it's great. It's very good piece of technology but there's still improvement to be made so in this video I'm just going to sort of discuss the positives the negatives and so where it can improve where it will succeed in the Premier League next year as we will be seeing it in every single game of the upcoming campaign now let's start off with the positives why it's good for me there's only one real example as to how successful it can be and that is in the World Cup last year in the World Cup VAR was introduced in a major tournament for the first time and it it worked mad. It worked wonders for me. I think the most amount of penalties were awarded ever in a single World Cup, which is pretty clear because obviously you've got VAR there to sort of go against the original decision made by the referee. And obviously VAR made all the correct decisions, you know, penalties that should have been penalties that were originally missed by the referee on the pitch at the time in whichever game it was, you know, he went over, had a look and just sort of rescinded his original decision and used VAR to make the correct decision. And that's what we want to see in the Premier League. There were so many mistakes by referees in the Premier League last season and the seasons before that. It's actually unreal. Best league in the world, in terms of the quality of the football, best league in the world, but refereeing-wise, it's nowhere near. And that's where I think VAR will help. I do think that when there are decisions that aren't being made like for example, in terms of last season, this isn't even because I'm a Salaman fan. The big one for me was Charlie Austin's disallowed goal. And obviously the rant that came from it, <laughs> it would have been so sort of public if he hadn't done the rant. But he did, and I think fair play as well. You know, It was a goal. It was a goal that could have given a team struggling against relegation very important three points. But in the end, it didn't. They had to settle for the point. And I think VAR would sort of go against that because, you know, the players argue, I think for any team when they don't get a decision, when they don't get a penalty that looks to be a penalty, you know, the players argue and if they really do feel the referee that is that maybe they've got it wrong, they'll have a look. And that's why VAR can work in the Premier League. So for me, I think there are plenty of pluses and you know, it's ready. That, that's obviously why they've brought it into the Premier League. They wouldn't have brought it into the upcoming season if it wasn't ready. They've tested it at major tournaments, in cup competitions, it is ready. However, whenever there's a positive, there's usually always a negative, and I think there are plenty of negatives still for VAR, where there's room for improvement, not where it's just bad. You know, it can improve and be 100% ready. And I think for me, the main thing is the waiting time. We said it a couple of weeks ago with the UEFA Nations League, the waiting time is absurd I mean England had two games where they had goals disallowed and the waiting time for the decision of the goal to be rescinded it, it just takes too long we were waiting there I think it was about five minutes for Lingard's goal against the Netherlands and you know at the end of the day right it works it wasn't a goal he was offside fair enough but it has to be a much more smooth process because I mean we were watching it on TV imagine if you're in the stand and you're waiting five, six, seven, maybe even eight minutes, and it's not on the screen, you've got no clue what's going on, and you're just waiting there. And not only will you be waiting there, you know, that's eight minutes added on at the end of the half. So the process still isn't as smooth as it can be, in my opinion. As well as this is the offside rule. I don't know if you've noticed this, it was also in play in the Nations League, which had VAR the other day. When there's an offside decision, but the ball's still being played, it seems as if place still goes on for some reason the referee doesn't blow his whistle it's like he plays advantage but it's already offside it's, it's so stupid and so I think that's another thing where the game sort of slows down a little bit it's not very smooth and that's definitely where there can be some sort of improvement if you know when it's offside when the linesman flags for offside 
it's offside, you blow your whistle, the referee lets play go on, it's a free kick to the other team, it's really not that difficult. It's not perfect, I think that's what I'm trying to get across, it's not perfect, but it, don't get me wrong, I think the technology is fantastic and it can, definitely can be perfect, and for me, I think it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. I don't know if you saw when the season finished, but the VAR table came out, basically meaning what the table would have looked like if all the incorrect decisions made had been overturned by VAR. It looked pretty interesting. I think there are plenty of material. I don't have it on me at the moment. I'll try and put it on screen. If I found it, it's on screen now, but I'm pretty sure there are some mid-table teams sort of close to the Champions League spots. It sort of disrupted the top six mould, and I think we could see that this season when smaller teams don't have the sort of... I don't want to say bias, but it does feel like there is a bit of a top six bias at the moment in the Premier League, and that's been quite relevant for the past maybe three seasons and so now I feel like that might distinguish honestly because referees can't hide you know if it VAR says it's a penalty and they can clearly see when they've gone to have a check it's a penalty you know you can't rescind it you can't just avoid that you have to give the penalty so I'm looking forward to that as a fan of a team outside the top six obviously I'm looking forward to that I'd love to see the top six mold get broken it'd be very interesting really good for the league but that is all I've got to say. It's a short video. It's just a little one that I needed to make because I think it's a big debate at the moment. You hear a lot about VAR still in the news and I'm fed up of all the refereeing talk over all the poor decisions that have been made. The amount of penalties that should have been given last year. It, it's unreal. So hopefully VAR can help it. Obviously the Premier League doesn't start for another, what's it, almost two months, just under two months. So we're not going to see it for a while, but we are going to be seeing it in the next campaign. So... You know, I'm really interested to see what happens. It's been tested in loads of different events. I think the Community Shield, the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup, the Nations League, the World Cup. We've seen it enough to know that it works. It just needs to be a bit more consistent. But thank you very much for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, go and make sure you've subscribed and turn notifications on. Let me know where you stand on VAR. Would it help the Premier League? Will it probably ruin the Premier League to an extent? You know, is it another contributing factor to the modern football sort of argument that's going against the game that we do love make sure you've liked the video as well and followed us on our socials and we'll see you in the next video